Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. I know we're a bit behind, but anyways, how are you doing Aquarius? This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hope you guys are doing amazing. I hope you guys are as excited as I am for the holidays. We do it major on my side. So we start the holiday preparation since Halloween. So pretty stoked about, oh, pretty stoked about the holidays. So anyways, also want to give you guys a quick update before we get into your reading Aquarius. For those of you guys that are interested in personal consultations, as you guys know, we are at the end of the year, which is the busiest season for us. So we decided to do it a little bit more proactive. You guys are able to go to our online store and book consultations on there, whether it's the 30 minute or the video live reading. Just an FYI, uh, we are now booking for December and January. As soon as those um, time slots are completely filled up, you will not be able to no longer purchase consultations until further notice. So just want to give you guys an FYI. Let's get into your reading Aquarius. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of November 2021. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, please step forward. Allow us to see clearly and concisely what is it that Aquarius needs to know at this present time. What is unfolding for them for this month of November 2021 in regards to the month of November. What can they expect? What is unfolding for them? What is it that they need to know at this present time? Spirit guides, ancestors, please give us clarity and insight. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, one more. Let's get into your reading, Aquarius. The first card here is the King of Pentacles. Second card is the Ten of Cups, the Eight of Cups, the Nine of Wands, and the Princess of Cups. Okay. All right, Aquarius. I see you guys being very determined when we're talking about finances and career. I see you guys extremely like focus on making money. The month of November is going to be very good um, in regards to your career and your finances. Now, one of the things that they are telling you here, uh, Aquarius, is that it is very important um, to make sure to um, manage or time management is what they're telling me. Um, so for some of you guys, it could be, you know, trying to balance out your personal life as well as your career. Um, for others of you is making time for the everything. Okay, everything. I was going to say certain things in your life and they're telling me everything. So for some of you guys, this could be in regards to family. This could be in regards to your career. This could be in regards to uh, relationships and love life. Um, I see almost like for some of you guys, it could be like using work or work, uh, being overworked. Um, and I see almost like for some of you guys kind of forgetting to connect or forgetting to forgetting to nurture every other aspect of your life other than business and career. Now, I do see you guys being extremely like working um, for some of you guys. This could be overworking and it's almost like to substitute um, the missing or the. It's more of a feeling of. Overworking yourself. To ignore or not acknowledge certain aspects of your life where you feel like you're unfulfilled or you're not completely happy. Um, and again, it's important for you guys to balance that. It, it's like what Spirit is saying is don't work yourself to the point of exhaustion, um, to the point of, you know, getting home and instead of being able to spend time with your kids or spend time with your family or with your partner, it's like by the time you get home, you're extremely tired and exhausted. Um, that you just really want to get some rest. So again, what they're telling you is learning balance. For others of you, you may be dealing with an earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. I feel that for some of you guys, you may be connecting or you may be, um, there may be some type of connection from a distance. Now, this doesn't necessarily have to be someone that 
you're currently like getting to know for some of you guys this could be a friend that is at a distance and it's almost like there's some type of interest in this person but i feel like for some of you guys you don't really know how to approach the situation especially if this is a friend that you're currently um feeling a very strong connection or a very strong pull towards um which is a characteristic of aquarian aquarius are um, known to find a lot of the people that you end up either being in a relationship with or committing to um have a tendency of being friends um and it's it's almost like it's almost like fully getting to know someone to the point of knowing them completely and usually love blossoms from friendship so again if you are dealing with someone that is in your social circle or a friend someone that is close to you in the month of november there's almost like um a realization or a a moment of clarity where you start to wonder like hmm maybe i could um maybe something can come from this connection other than friendship um but i do see you guys like really not knowing how to approach the situation again for some of you guys it could be because you don't want to um cross the line you don't want to lose this person as a friend um for others of you, it could be that you are casually speaking or dealing with a friend from a distance um, where there's not like very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Very heavy communication. I feel like it's a once in a while, hey, how are you, Aquarius? I was just thinking of you. Oh, I was thinking of you too type of energy. Um, but I feel like both of you guys may be dealing with this type of energy where someone's not fully expressing what they're feeling. Um, and I feel that for some of you guys, if you are dealing with this situation, I feel like it's kind of like you guys are mirroring each other. Um, you guys are both interested in each other, but you guys are scared of taking it to the next level out of fear of rejection or out of fear of um messing up this connection like not wanting to lose or miss out on the friendship uh should things turn sour um but i do see here with the princess of cups that there are emotions there are feelings involved already on both sides so i feel that it, it ha comes down more to like who is going to take the next step or who is going to open up um and pretty much speak their speak their truth uh, type of energy so don't be surprised if in the month of november you have a friend confessing feelings or you have a friend that is going to be opening up to you in regards to hey aquarius you know i was wondering we've been on each other for so long you know maybe we should take it to the next level or see if something can come from this um now for others of you i do see you guys really uh, trying to fix, especially those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship. I see you guys putting effort in this relationship, even though there is a feeling of something is missing in the connection. For some of you guys, it could be that the spark was lost or you feel like you guys are not in sync anymore, like there isn't really a very strong connection. It's almost like a feeling of disconnection of anything. Um, and this could even be with the person if you're married or if you're living with your partner. It's almost the feeling of like wanting to throw in the towel, um, but not knowing how to approach the situation. It's almost the feeling of, um, you know, we kind of are just living day by day and there is a need or a desire uh, to have some type of connection or some type of passion. So if you are in this situation and you're dealing with, um, you know, it's been a little bit cold in the bedroom. Um, what they're telling you here is that you need to take the approach if the partner is not really, you know, uh, satisfying you or is not really uh, communicating or expressing or showing you emotional connection. Um, and this is something that you feel like you're missing. It's very important to speak your mind and be completely honest and transparent with your partner only to give them the opportunity to either try to put more effort or to have that conversation of what what's really going on because i feel like there's a lot of distractions and a lot of work could be consuming you aquarius in the month of november so 
It's all about balance and maintaining that balance is going to be crucial for you guys for this month of November. I want to wish you guys the very best. Wish you guys the best of luck and we'll see each other soon. Bye.